So there's a question of how, let's call it, the true practice of Aikido shows itself in the lives, let's say, in the lives in the, in the existence and in the different aspects of the lives of the people who practice. One is um, to what the Course of Miracles says. So the Course of Miracles says that everybody teaches all the time by essentially the way they are, you know, the way they talk, the way they move, the way they relate to people, all these things. That everybody is always teaching. And so the Course says, if you take this course, which everybody has to take in their <laughs> many births and new births, whatever, right? You take this course, then essentially what you become is a teacher of God, rather than a teacher of a particular story, and particularly in relation of stories and ups and downs and goods and bads that has resonated with other people at the same time you become a teacher of God. And that's a, a really very good description of what Aikido is meant to bring about. And it, it's, well, since it says it in different ways, right, he says, for instance, that everybody has their personal plan, their personal direction for themselves. Which again is based on their story and their ideas of themselves as to what they can do and can't do and you know the whole story of the world. And then so that's your well some say that's your your personal shime. And then you have, as opposed to that, you have the ten men. Ten meaning heaven. So that so he says you want to uchikatsu, absolutely break apart and nothing left of uh, your personal shime. And of course, it's not like the ten men is uh, like, you know, there's somebody up there saying, do this and this and this. <laughs> but it's like your, again, your being, including the things that you do, the, the general direction, the general what happens or flavor of your life is connected with, with something that's called grand something big, something untouched by any form of confusion or darkness we call, in this case, heaven. And that, that's one way. Another thing that Rasa Sensei said is I lead to God, well, this is a paraphrase, I forgot the exact translation, but anyways, he says, I, I leave up to God the question of life and death and what happens. So in a certain sense he's saying, you know, I'm not, I'm not working on, you know, doing it myself. I leave it up to God. Both in terms of the technique, in terms of the practice, and in terms of everyday life. And that, of course, you can express in terms of God or you can express to through Buddhist, Buddhist ideas or Dzogchen ideas, where it's just freedom. Where he said, everybody is in meditation. Enlightenment is nothing, there is nothing but enlightenment. So, and there's a, there's a phrase in the Course of Miracles that goes, I am not a body, I am grief. And uh, it's true that our story 
and following it is usually involved with our feeling of being limited by this body and the story of this body on earth. So the phrase in the Course in Miracles goes, I am not a body, I am not, I am not a body, I am free, I am still. As God created me. So, again, this is very close to what I'm talking about. Now, the to the degree that we feel ourselves as a limited body, then we have to defend ourselves. We have to make a plan to, let's say, a, a separate, a separate body, right? Because. This idea of being limited by the body is also the idea of me as somebody separate, somebody vulnerable. So we, um, we tend to, coming from that idea of ourselves as separate, uh, make plans. And of course, in this world, those plans seem to work or seem not to work, and if they don't work, we try to make them work. But O Sensei is saying something like, Man, it isn't you, <laughs> it's the universe <laughs> working. And the, the plan, the workings of the universe are so exquisitely perfect and so incredible. Your job is to tune yourself through your breath, through your movement, through your practice, to that. And I was just reading something before yesterday, but I know that I forgot it. It's in my other bag, in the other, the other book of Olson today. And where he, where he says that, he talks about the Gyoko E of Aikido. The Gyoko E is something he talked about in Buddha, and that's like the more or less hidden what they would call in Buddhism, pith, essential teaching, which is the key, right? And it's like, if you get in Buddha, the general feeling in terms of the word gyoko yi, is if you get the gyoko yi, then you have the heart of that practice, right? Whether it's a sword practice or whatever. Right? He said various things about it. One of the things, which is often quoted, but it's good to say in Japanese, because it has a, a slightly different flavor. Banyu Aigo. So Banyu means everything. Everything. And all interrelations, everything, the whole universe. I, in this case, love is the domain protection. So it's the love, the, the love protection, the loving protection, the protection of love for all and everything. 